everything changes with time. Including the ocean. That's why the census of marine life looked not only at the present, but also at the past. By studying the ocean's history, we can better understand what the future holds for marine life. Scientists examined ships' logs, monastery records, and even old fish bones. They found that changes in marine populations began much earlier than most people thought. In some cases, as early as Roman times, and were mainly caused by human activities. According to the census, the ocean has lost 90% of top predators to overfishing and habitat loss. And coastal waters are under threat from a growing human population. Fortunately, the ocean can be resilient. Left alone, marine species can recover. In protected areas, species have come back in force and populations can overflow into neighboring waters, benefiting both humans and life in the sea. And researchers continue to make new discoveries. Scientists believe that three or four unknown animal species exist for every one we now know. During the decade of the census of marine life alone, they identified more than 6,000 potentially new marine species and formally described 1,200 of them. Some changes are inevitable, but there are many harmful ones that can be avoided. Equipped with the knowledge gathered by the census of marine life, we're better able to observe those changes as they happen, and in some cases, prevent them. For species we know, and those we still have yet to meet.